Now, the king of Shangan music, Peter Tennant, may be gone, but his legacy lives on. The legendary musician's sons, Richie and Seaboy, are continuing where their father left off and making waves in the music industry. They join us now in studio for more on their musical journey. Gentlemen, very good afternoon. Thanks for coming on to our show. <laughs> oh, thank no. you. Thank you so much. Uh, now, Richie, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start off uh, with you. Um, there's obviously a journey that you've walked in trying to fill uh, your father's shoes. And I think only recently you've uh, released some music that has uh, exploded. Talk to us about that journey. Uh, uh, firstly, uh, I wasn't aware that uh, I was even a son of a king or a musician. Mm. Yeah, this thing of music just grew up in me from the young age. Uh, I used to play instrumental, in, uh, musical instrumental at church, and then that's where I discovered my talent. Uh, from then, uh, uh, me and my little brother, Sibo Etinet, we started recording uh, around 2010. And then uh, 2017, that's where we decided to make a group, uh, Rice Etinet. Mm. Uh, uh, it's a duo. And then... Uh, uh, since then, uh, we have been trying many styles. We have been in hip hop, mm. local house, uh, Madamara. We work with people like uh, uh, the late Lil Mary, General Manizo. Yeah. So, but uh, after COVID, then that's where we where we got this uh, hit with King Monada mm. uh, because we had to market uh, digitally as uh, the gigs were closed. Yeah, so that's how our journey has been. Now, Sibo, you obviously speak uh, speak yeah. for yourself as you speak for, for, for your brother. Yeah. You know, COVID was a downfall of many artists, but COVID is also the time that uh, you guys reached star status, if you, if you will. What do you think it is that you did right? Yeah. I was in Gavia, so that COVID, like, and um, before COVID, there more marketing. And then COVID is a feature. We this thing is a And then we have to the And we have to do the And the And now we've talked about your father, but your mother was also uh, dubbed uh, Queen of uh, Chitonga music. Yeah. Has she had an influence on you as musicians? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, she contributed a lot uh, uh, because uh, our father made it possible for her to make it in music and excel. So uh, she had that thing in her heart that she must uh, support us as well. Uh, because it, it's not easy to, for a parent to just accept a, a, a child to do what you love. Mostly the, the parents choose for us. Mm. They will uh, love me to be a doctor or something or a magistrate. Uh, that's what they, they used to say when I grew up. So, but uh, later on they found out my love is in music because my music is in my blood. Uh, we have a legacy which we must uh, maintain, which I, which is created by our father Peter Tinet. So the legacy uh, he created, we are here to add a value on it, so that we can continue. Even the next generation, they must know Tinet family is about mm -hmm. music. So our mother accepted that and she supported us. Sibo, do you, yeah. do you feel the pressure of trying to fill the shoes that your father, Peter Tennant, left because he, he was an icon? Yeah, the pressure is too high. But we work with a motivated team mm. which makes us uh, well-focused and make sure that we do what is best for Rich and Sibo. Mm. Yeah. Well, let's talk about some of the challenges as musicians, also as, as young people. I mean, one of the things that's very clear based on when you started and how long it took you to get that hit. 
you know, it, it, it couldn't have been easy. Yeah, it's not an easy thing. Like, um, mostly we like uh, or uh, young people or maybe almost everyone. Uh, mostly they they forget about sacrificing. Mm. They like shortcuts, and that the shortcut isn't working. It's not everywhere a shortcut can work for you. So we had to take uh, years to get that hit. We had uh, good songs back then, mm. but they didn't make it because there were few mistakes mm. that was there. So, but if you sit down and listen to advices, people's advices, then note down your mistakes and then make a good thing, make the right thing. Then you will realize where you went wrong and keep on improving on what you are doing. And then that's where you will finally get what you dream of. Yeah. Now, Nunu is your, your big hit uh, with uh, King Munada. Now, did you get any mentorship from him? Because, I mean, he's a, he's a talented artist, and I'd like to think it's... Was it an opportunity for you to, to learn? Yes, a lot. We learned a lot from King uh, because uh, he's the one of our uh, inspiration. Mm. Uh, he, his journey has been tough. He told us a lot about his journey. And some of the points we we, we already knew about it, mm. so uh, we uh, he explained everything and advised us on how to handle our uh, our title as artists. Mm. Yeah. Now, what are some of those challenges that you that you face as artists? In fact, that come with being famous, because one minute you are trying to make it, next yeah. minute you're on YouTube. Uh, Nunu's got 1.3 million views, you know, and I'm, and I'm sure uh, the girls on the streets are knocking on your door. The young boys want to be like you. <laughs> yeah. Hey, so, hey, on that one. I want to hear C-Boy first. Yeah. I was going to know, like, oh, we jury, Elf now when she did hit, and Watch about next next song was kind because maybe that's where Otonali Le Gomorrow. Like what I know, Uru Toki. Trekkers or Salo will be the eat, Uri Uri Ye, no rebay eat. Burgin to the right leg of art. And then when the next thing, next thing with them will be able to make a show again. With them will make a show always, oh, Yakanala cycle use again in Yoko no Sara, but for Gamu. And for you? Yeah, so Nafon Nal Nai is like a. You have to be yourself. Give uh, little dreams. Like I had dreams mm. uh, when I had nothing. And then uh, what's different about us is that uh, we, we don't look for heat, but heat comes to mm. us. Yeah, so I don't have to feel that pressure because I know even no, no, I didn't struggle or uh, we didn't struggle to think about it or what, what, what. Mm. It's something just just came and then uh, everything happened the way so as for pressure and lifestyle out there because uh, they see us on another level and mm. stuff as we are growing up yeah on that one we still need to remain ourselves mm. the way we are we we must focus we must stay focused yeah and look for look straight to our destiny. We, we, we have targets where we want to be. So if we change our mindset because of uh, what we experience outside there, mm. then that, that's where most of the artists we, we learn from. That's where they went wrong because of this fame and stuff. So as for us, we are not affected about fame, money or something else. So we just, we will just be ourselves because we know our mission is to maintain the legacy of Peter Chinet. This is now our era, our generation in history, it will be written. Peter Chinet started this. Mm. And then there came Richie Chinet and C Boy Chinet. Number yeah. three, this generation. Number four, so on, so on. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. yeah. <laughs> I want to say, uh, and we had to, to make sure that we keep his legacy alive uh, and his spirit. Because 
one sort of flopper is over something mm. in Monor Guinea, or about the women in that league. Has. Yeah, there's obviously going to be pressure mm. if, you, if, you, if you flop. But yeah. you, you're obviously very wise uh, from, from what you're saying. Uh, where does this wisdom come from? Is it based on your experiences? Uh, is, it your, is it your mother? Is it the people around you? Uh, obviously, because we know that there are many young people that aren't as wise as you and don't have that vision to stay focused. Yeah. So, uh, firstly, our management team now, uh, Bragiv, g mm. uh, Brakesh, the VHT Driving School, uh, Aero Maniello, and... Aki Media 360, those are people we are working with now. Uh, they are like our close friends. So we learn a lot from them. It's our management team. They tell us everything, our lifestyle. Like they manage us with everything like, uh, so that we can stay focused. And then even our fans, our fans are our direction mm. because uh, they, they, they add a lot of value into our market. They, they, they direct us on what to do and how to do it. We get ideas from our friends, yeah, and our parents, like everyone is contributing in our journey, everyone around our area, and we really thank them for building us so that we can be this way, yeah. And even uh, we have uh, pastors, mm. yeah, who keep on advising us. We, we used to go to church while we grew up, we grew yeah. up yeah. So we are Christians, we believe in God, and we trust that God is the one that is opening everything, the road now, everything is going well, and we don't feel pressure. We, we are confident enough that we're going to make it. Uh, no, it's not uh, the last years. <laughs> More years is still coming. Yeah. <laughs> well, Richie and Seaboy, thank you so much for coming up to Newsroom Channel 405. Appreciate your time and wish you all the best in the future. Thank you so much.